and uh, Dr. Zhou Li, Professor Ke Huan Zhang from Un Chinese University of Hong Kong. Um, search engine optimization or SEO technologies are used to improve the visibility of a web page or some keywords in search engines. What head SEO technologies are encouraged by search engines? Like to provide some uh, sitemap file or put some descriptive keywords in title or metadata of a web page. However, <coughs> Blackhead SEO tried to manipulate the search engines to gain higher or quicker visibility in search results, such as uh, include uh, <coughs> uh, many keyword, uh, keyword stuffing, uh, link farming, forum spamming, or uh, search engine cloaking, and etc. Traditional blackhead SEO techniques are seriously punished by search engines. Uh, in this work, we study a new kind of uh, blackhead SEO service, the Spider 4. Although most of the service we found by now are in Chinese, but they impact all popular search engines include Google and Bing, not only limited to China. <coughs> How does it work? Uh, the spider fall can avoid punishment from search engines by the following tricks. First, it can bypass loop detection with countless websites powered by wildcard DNS. Second, it can defeat the search engine's plagiarism detection by ever-changing content, of, uh, which is generated dynamically. Third, uh, free writing. It can abuse the reputed websites like Amazon or eBay without spamming or compromi compromising. Fourth, it targets long-tail keywords or more specific or longer phrase with less competition. Um, this is how we carry out our study. Um, we firstly infiltrate a typical spider pool, and thus we get the feature. We know what's the tricks they used. <coughs> Next, according to the features we get, we scan the internet over 30 million domains and get about 400,000 spider pro domains. Then we measured these SEO domains to analyze their distribution, their customers, and their impact on search engines. Finally, after we finished our paper, we deployed our detection method in Baidu, the leading search engine in China. And we get another one million SEO domains. Uh, now, let's start from infiltration. This is the website we set up. We applied a new domain name for it. The content is almost empty, but we have to convince the SEOers that we really want to do some business. And we paid about $8 to a Spider Pro service, uh, the service named Super Spider Pro, and submitted our URLs to promote. <coughs> One week later, we can see how many times the crawlers had visited our website through the spy pro. It's about uh, 15,000 visits by SE search engine crawlers. <coughs> and we verified from both Baidu and Google that our website 
was really indexed by both Google and Badu. Also, <coughs> we found that many websites, many other websites, had included the URLs we promoted. Um, we can <coughs> see the subdomain names of this website who have our URLs. Then the host part looked weird. They look like uh, a random strings. So we tested their DNS and verified that these domains have wildcard DNS enabled. That is, if we query any subdomain of it, we can get the same IP address of the web server. <coughs> then we visit the, this website uh, twice. And uh, we get almost the same pages for two visits. Can you notice the difference? The only difference is titles. No. <coughs> no. But if we check the source code, we found that all the hard links inside the page are totally different. So to human beings, to us human beings, the appearance is almost the same. But for the computer, for crawlers from search engines, the content changed completely. <coughs> it's a new website, right? The other tricks is free writing. Uh, we found many links pointing to eBay, Amazon, or other reputed uh, websites with higher uh, page ranks. For example, we search uh, with Bing. We search uh, hallucinogen, hallucinogen, sorry, <coughs> and the domain eBay.com. We can say. Hey, 296 result. Every item, every link has a QQ numbers to sell hallucinogen. So hallucinogen is so popular in eBay. What's wrong? What's wrong with eBay or what's wrong with Bean? And we try Google hallucinogen and the domain Amazon.com. Even worse, we get about 550 results. Is Amazon spammed or compromised? <laughs> we click one of the links. No, Amazon is not spammed, not compromised, right? This is the embedded search engine of Amazon. It says that your search did not match any product. But we can see the promoted terms. The long tail keywords are displayed in both title and the search result. So Amazon is not spammed, but it is used for free writing. eBay is not spammed either, but the embedded search engine was also abused to promote the long tail keywords. <coughs> now we can draw a picture how spider pro works. Once a crawler or spider touches one of the websites controlled by a spider pro, it will be trapped in the library. This, the crawlers can follow the links from one domain to another in the control of the same spider pool. At the same time, this, the crawler is fed with those URLs and keywords promoted. <coughs> and uh, even if the spider goes back to the domains it visited before, it thinks that 
the website is new because the domain name and the, all the hyperlinks changed completely. As the Greek philosopher Harry Glitter said, no spider can step into the same site twice. <coughs> so for the crawlers, the only way to escape is to visit the customer's website or to visit the free writing link with promoted messages. <laughs> now, according to our infiltration, we got four tricks of the or futures of its infrastructure. First, wildcard DNS. Second, ever-changing content. Third, free writing of reputable website. And long tail keyword. By now, we know how Spider4 works. Next, we want to detect all of them in the whole internet. Uh, with the features we uh, get from this infrastructure, we designed a scanner to promote to, to probe the internet to find other spider pros. First, we collected about 13 million domains and 22 uh, TLDs or SLDs. Um, this is how we collect the domains. 20 of them is from uh, Zoom files we download from the internet, and the others are from passive DNS of uh, Farsight. <laughs> then we query their DNS servers to verify if they have enabled wildcard DNS. This step, we got about 2 million domains. For those domains with wildcard DNS enabled, we access their website twice and compare the similarity of the hyperlinks. Finally, we got about 400,000 domains used by Spide4. Uh, because we have no ground truth, so we have to uh, verify them manually, but it's it's impossible for us to verify most of this, so we sampled uh, 1,000 and uh, verified manually. The false positive is about 0.8%. Uh, uh, most of the false positive comes from uh, some websites who have a lot of ads. Uh, those websites change the links every time, every visit. Here is the top 10 TLDs and, uh, of the spider pool domains. Um, China.cn is the number one. It's not surprised because most of the services are in China. But for percentage, the number one is PW. PW is the country code top level domain for the country Republic of Palau, more than 17%. Uh, it was reported by Semantic that PW was extensively abused for email spamming. So it's not a surprise that they now are favored by SUers. Uh, by Looking up who is database, we saw the registration of these SEO domains increased very fast in the last year. Also, by who is database, we get the top 10 registers, uh, registrars of these SEO domains. The top 10 account for 81% of all SEO domains. Most of them, the registrars, are in China. However, China has a strict policy on domain registration, but the domains are still 
extensively abused. So we think there must be some policy holes in practice. Uh, also, by Hui's database, we know that the top 10 registries or the top 10 people can choose more than half of the SEO domains. So we think that this business, the SEO business, is very centralized. Uh, from the email address, we guess that most of them are Chinese. <coughs> um, where are the web servers hosted? We find most of them are hosted in the United States. So the SEOers buy domain names in China, but host servers in America. Why? <clears throat> I think besides price considerations, the policy is another concern. In China, there's an even stricter policy for web than DNS. You must get an ICP license, a content provider license, from the government to set up a website. If you set up a web server in the cloud without uh, a license, the port 80 or HTTP is blocked. So the SEOers have to set up their web servers outside China. Uh, we sampled 21 spider pools for detailed analysis and uh, monitored them for a month. Then we filtered 15,000 SEO domains, more than 1,000 customer domains, and 7 million promoted URLs. Um, according to a free online service, we classify the customer website into seven categories. We can see more than half of the customers are illegal, as, at least in China. So from the message they promoted, we can get the QQ numbers to connect them. I think this information must be very useful for police to attack the cyber crimes. Um, how are search engines impacted? We selected about uh, uh, 40 long-tail keywords from the customer messages they promoted and uh, compared the search result from both Google and uh, Baidu. We saw that the SEO demands appear in the first page, so both of them are impacted seriously. For example, we search how much to pay a prostitute in Shenzhen, in Google, and Baidu. We saw that in the first page, 100% of the links is from SEO domain. This is the top 20 reputable websites abused by the spider pools and their URL patterns. The famous ones including Amazon, eBay in America, QQ.com, and Sina.com in China. OK, <clears throat> finally, after we finished our paper, we deployed our detect method in Baidu, uh, collaborated with um, colleagues from Baidu, of course. Um, Baidu gave us the URLs they indexed every day. And we um, extract the domain names and check if they have the same features with the spider force and uh, with the previous detect method. 
we get about uh, 300,000 SEO domains. <coughs> With this domain, we uh, crawl the, the website of, of them actively and uh, get about uh, 1 million SEO domains in total. Uh, this is the numbers of new spider pools uh, domains detected in Baidu every day. Uh, you can see in the last week, the number decreased. Uh, maybe, I'm not sure, maybe we have found most of the SEO domains deployed by now. I hope so. OK, in summary, we infiltrated a new type of a Blackhead SEO service and got the features of its infrastructure. Then we designed our detection system and deployed it successfully in Baidu. By now, we get about 1.4 million of such SEO domains. We expect search engines be aware of this new threat and uh, purify the search, in, the search result. And together with those reputed websites like uh, Amazon, eBay, who are abused for free writing. We also inject, I think, it's useful information for law enforcement. For example, the QQ numbers of who sell hallucinogen. Yeah. If anyone here wants some hallucinogen, you can contact me. <laughs> this is my email address. That's all my talk. Thank you very much. Time for questions. Uh, for the websites who are abused uh, by free writing attacks, such as eBay, uh, what kind of defense can they deploy to defend against the free writing? Uh, that's a good question. Um, now, for the SUers, it's very easy to put a static link, and uh, the crawler will follow the link to uh, Amazon or, or, or eBay. If they, um, uh, they change the, the access method, maybe from get to post, it's harder to, to, to make such static URLs and put them on, on the website. Thank you. Thank you. So you discovered this new black SEO. I mean, is there any action taken from these guys? Are they aware of your research? Sorry? So for these new, uh, the spider pool, right, group. So are they aware of your detection and uh, research? And did they take any action so they can avoid being detected by your? Uh, you mean Baidu? Take no, some so the, the, these new black uh, spider pool. Ah. The, the, those the, who use this new strategy, right? So are they aware of your research? First of all, <laughs> uh, I don't know by now. But do you uh, think they are taking they are taking some action? So uh, you you notice there's some redu reduction of right. the effect, right? Is that because they are taking some new new strategies or uh, to avoid your detection? Uh, yes, I think um, if no if they know our detect method, they can change um, uh, the their strategy because we now by now we use two um, methods one is wildcard DNS the other is ever-changing content detection if they uh, disable their DNS uh, wildcard and uh, maybe our detection will fail but they must pay a lot of money for more domains right and uh, if they um, uh, don't change their content so frequently, we cannot detect them. But also, 
the search engine will not visit them so frequently. So if they give up these two methods, we won, right? Yeah, good. Yeah. More questions? Uh, Krista Wilson, Northeastern. So I'm, I'm curious of, of how difficult it would be to actually detect this. So if I was Google, I would construct the web graph, and it seems like these sites would form a large, dense component. Right? There's many nodes, but they, have, they all link to each other, and there's few edges going in and out of this component. So I could do some community detection, and this should just pop out as something very suspicious. It's not sort of integrated with the rest of the graph. Is that intuition correct, or are these sites actually well enough integrated with the rest of the web graph that you couldn't find this, sort of obviously? Uh, sorry, can you repeat your question? Yeah, so I'm, I'm curious if Google could detect these sites, the spider trap. Uh -huh. So if you think about the, the web as a graph, right? Mm -hmm. every one of these domains is a node, they all point to each other, yeah. so they, they form a dense component. Right. But there's very few edges from them to the rest of the web. So it seems like community detection should find them pretty easily. Uh, y yes, you're right. Um, but um, uh, according to our measurement, one spider pro have uh, a lot of domain names. And uh, they distribute in many ES. So it consumes a lot of time to, to get all of them for the search engines. Uh, yes, you are right. If you have enough resource, enough time, you can detect that. And uh, we, according to our measurement, all the nodes, website, uh, connect to each other, they, they construct um, a mesh. So if you can do that, yes, you, you can get all of them out. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> so, uh, wonderful research. Um, I just want to comment to Professor Goop that if you search in Google spider pool, I just went to translate and translate it, the number one hit is from December 2015. It's a forum posting, and I auto-translate it, and it's complaining, Baidu has killed the spider pool. Uh, we're very angry, <laughs> and, and it is equal to the white hair, and you need to send a hammer. I guess this is some kind of, uh, send a hammer is some kind of net speak in Chinese, which doesn't tra translate very well. Um, so your research has been effective, and they also explain in that uh, posting why they choose US servers, because you need a lot of bandwidth, and you need a lot of power, so uh, they say hosting in the US is very cheap uh, in Amazon, so you better do that. And also uh, in-cloud traffic is free, so you don't pay for all this traffic that the spider is causing. Uh, but what I also noticed is that there are 400,000 uh, search results in Google for a spider pool. So um, I wonder why. Are they doing SEO on the word spider pool in your understanding? <laughs> Sorry. Promotion, oh, right? So are they doing some promotion so they are getting popular, maybe more popular? <laughs> <laughs> do you mean the are that spider put uh, these guys themselves? How do they get people to know about their service, right? Yes. If they are doing they promote themselves by other spider pool. <laughs> yeah. So it's a meta spider pool. Yes, yes. We we, we, we do see some uh, phenomenon phenomenon also in Badu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, let's thank the speaker one more time. Thank you.